Hello everyone. In this video of 8086 instruction set, I am explaining push and pop instructions. Now what is stack? Stack is a block of memory that may be used for temporarily storing the data. So stack memory is used for storing the data temporarily. So you can see here, I have shown here the stack segment, the stack memory which is a stack of registers as usual. Every location holds one byte of information and some information is stored in the stack. Stack is equivalent to the stack of plates like this. You can see that why it is said that it is equivalent to the stack of plate. We know that when we want to arrange these plates in the stack, first we will keep this plate, then next plate, then this plate and so on. And when we want to take out these plates, what we will do first, we will take out this plate, the top plate, then we'll take out the blue plate, plate and then we will take out the orange plate. Exactly in the similar way, the stack is essentially last in first out data segment. That means whatever data is stored in the last location will be taken out first while taking out because it is equivalent to stack of plates. Now here stack memory is shown and these are some addresses, 20 bit physical addresses. And you can see there here uh, 25, 44, 87, this is the data and there are multiple memory locations in between and all these locations are empty. That means all these locations are empty. That means no data is stored in these locations and data is stored till this location. So whatever is the last location where the data is stored is known as stack top or known as top of stack memory and this address is known as stack top address. Now these are general purpose registers these are available in the execution unit of 8086 microprocessor and this is stack segment you can see here the, this is the stack segment fs07 fs06 these are offset addresses. These are not physical addresses because these are 16-bit addresses. That means these are the offset addresses of stack memory segment. Now, what is push operation of stack? The process of storing the data in the stack is called pushing into the stack. That means process of transferring the data from register to stack is known as push operation. Remember, push operation means storing the data from registers to stack. The example is push source. Now here example I have taken push dx in which dx is the operand. Now dx indicates dh and dl register pair that is 16 bit register. Instruction says push the contents of dh and dl register into the stack memory and decrement the contents of stack pointer by now in this remember that in the entire slideshow of this particular video I have used the color theory to indicate the similar kind of operations. So wherever I have used blue, 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 so remember they are all similar or related. If I have used green, green, green color then it indicates some similarity or some relation in the operation. So what is stack pointer? Now where this stack pointer is? We know that in 8086 stack pointer is in the execution unit. It is a 16 bit register and it holds the offset of stack top. It holds the offset of stack top. Offset is always a 16 bit address. So it holds the offset of stack top. Now what is stack top? Here data is stored till this memory location. So this becomes the stack top and address of this location is known as stack top. So what stack pointer should hold? It should hold FF04. So stack pointer holds FF04. Now what this push instruction does, push instruction will first decrement the stack pointer. It will decrement this stack pointer by one and then contents of DH memory, this a DH, contents of DH register will get stored in the indicated address. So now it will decrement by one. So stack pointer is FF03. That means it is indicating this memory location, FF03 memory location. See, I told you, I will indicate color. This is blue, this is blue. Then what is blue? This is blue, DH. So data will get transferred from DH register to this particular 
address. Now a stack top is changed. Why it is changed? Because now data is filled till this memory location. So stack top is FF03 now and it is stored in the stack pointer. We know that it holds the offset of stack top. So it is correct. Then what is next? Again, it will decrement the stack pointer. So again, it will decrement the stack pointer. So now it is FF02 earlier. It was FF03. Now it is FF02. And now it will transfer this contents of DL register. 55. See, I have shown green. This is green. And this is green. So it will transfer this 55 into FF02. Now our data is stored till FF02. Uh, so stack top is now FF02 which is stored in the stack pointer. So this is the operation of push. So what happens? Remember, first it will decrement the contents of stack pointer. Then it will transfer contents of DH register into that memory location. Then again it will decrement the stack pointer and then it will transfer contents of DL register into that memory location. Now remember that this is lower register. DL stands for lower byte. DH stands for higher byte of DX register. Now this is 03 is higher address and 02 is lower address. So always remember that higher register contains goes to higher address and lower register contains goes to lower address. So you need not to get confused between ki whether DH will go to FF03 or it will go to FF02 or whether DL will go first or DH will go first. Always remember higher register, higher address and lower register by it into lower address. Now similar instruction. Now this is push instruction only. The operation will remain same but now it is push F. F stands for flag register. So here push register pair means here flag register pair. Now this is flag register. It is shown 16 bit flag register. So this is lower byte and this is higher byte. These are the contents of lower byte and these are the contents stored in higher byte. Now it is shown in the binary instead of hex. What this instruction says push the contents of flag register into the stack and decrement the stack pointer by 2. Now again, what is stack top? Now stack is filled up to this memory location. So FF04 is stack top. Now this is stack pointer that holds the address of stack top and hence it should hold, it should hold FF04. So it will hold FF04. Then what happens? It will decrement the stack pointer by one. It will decrement stack pointer by one that is FF03 and then it will transfer higher byte. Now this is higher byte of flag register. This is higher byte and this is lower byte. So it will transfer higher byte into this memory location. Now memory is filled till this location and hence stack top is changed now and now it is FF03. Then after that what happens? Again it will decrement the decrement stack pointer. So it will decrement stack pointer now it is FF02 and store contains of flag lower byte. Now it should transfer this lower byte into FF02. Whatever is pointed here, it is pointed FF02. So this should go to FF02 address like this. And now you can see that since memory is filled till this memory location, now this becomes the stack top. And same is the content of stack pointer because stack pointer always hold address of stack top. Now, next operation. These are general purpose register. This is stack memory and it is filled till FF02. Now, process of transferring data back from stack to CPU register is known as popping operation. That means when we transfer the contents from register to stack memory, it is said that it is push operation. And when we transfer the contents from stack memory to register, it is said that it is pop operation. We are taking out the data from memory. Remember that stack memory operates on last in first out. That means whatever is last filled, it will be coming out first. Now it is filled till FF02, 55 is the last data entered, so it should come out first and then 44 and then 24 and then 63. Last in, first out, don't forget in case of stack memory. Now let's take one example, pop and destination register. 
So example, I have written pop bx. That means transfer the contents of stack and store into bx register. bx is combination of bl and bh. That is b register higher byte and b register lower byte. Now what happens in pop instruction? It will increment the stack pointer by two. What happens in push? In push, it decrements the stack pointer, and in pop, it increments the stack pointer. Remember. So this is stack pointer, which holds the address of stack top. What is stack top now? This is our stack top because memory is filled till this memory address, or you can say offset. So it will hold FF zero two. So what happens here? First, we'll store the contents of memory in BL. So whatever is there. At the top of stack, that is 55. Now it will first transfer into BL register. Now it is not transferring this data to BH. Remember, from FF02 to BL first. Okay, lower address, lower register. BL is lower register byte, and FF02 is lower address than FF03. So contents of lower register goes to lower register byte. Then what happens after this transfer? Now our stack top has changed. Why it is changed? Because now this has become empty, and now it is filled up to this. Now FF zero three is stack top, and hence stack pointer should increment by one. Stack pointer should increment by one because now stack top is FF zero three, and hence it will become FF zero three like this. Now store. Contents of memory in BH. Now, whatever is there in FF03, that is 44, should get transferred into BH register like this. So it will get transfer. Now it has now increment the contents of stack pointer. Why to increment contents of stack pointer? Because now this is empty, this is empty, and now this is the top of stack, and hence stack pointer should increment by one. Previously it was FF03. Now FF zero three is empty, and hence now it should become FF zero four, and now it will indicate stack top. So this happens in pop operation. What happens in pop operation? First transfer data, then increment stack pointer, then transfer data, and then again increment stack pointer. This is these are the steps in pop instruction. Now next is pop f. Pop the contents of stack and store in flag. This F stands for a flag register. So this is flag register. This is higher byte of flag register, and this is lower byte of flag register. Now here stack memory is filled up to FF zero two, and upper some multiple locations are available here, which is I have not shown. So this is stack top now. This is stack top. This is stack pointer, which holds the address of stack top. So it should hold address of stack top. So it will hold FF zero two. Now what happens in pop first? It will transfer. So it will transfer this contents of FF zero two, whatever is there in stack pointer, into lower byte, lower address, lower address, lower byte. So it store the contents of memory in flag lower byte. Then what? Then now this is empty. And stack top has changed. Now stack top is FF zero three. So our now stack pointer holds FF zero two. So it should increment by one. So increment the stack pointer by one. So it will increment stack pointer by one. Why it why it should in, in, uh, indicate FF zero three? Because now FF zero three is stack top. Now what? Now transfer the contents of memory into higher byte. So it will transfer these contents into higher byte like this. Now these two memory locations are empty, and now this is your stack top, and hence, since this is your stack top, the stack pointer should increment by one and should point out FF zero four. So earlier it was FF zero three. Now after transferring this byte, stack pointer should increment by one and should indicate this. Address because now this is address of stack top. So this was all about push and pop instructions. You need to understand. You need not to mug up anything. Just understand what happens. See the color theory. Try to remember the colors. It will become easy for you to remember. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any queries, 
please write in the comment section thanks